Okay, we're on, Jim. Okay. Got here on Monday and uh, really, you know, didn't know what to expect. Never hunted deer up here in Canada. And uh, first day we had a snowfall. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the days proceeded after that got a little rough. Had a lot of wind and rain and such. And we found a valley <clears throat> where you had a ridge on one side and a ridge on the other. Nice, beautiful river running through. Good bedding area behind. It just looked like a real nice place for a large buck to hang out. So, come Wednesday, I'm sitting up on top of the ridge looking down, and uh, I see, I believe it was this buck come in on me, and uh, but it was brief. The, the winds on top of that ridge were bringing the wind down into the valley, and I believe he winded me because as quick as he came in is as quick as he left. So I got to thinking, you know, first three days I was doing a lot of sweating, it was real cold and stuff, and I, I believe he definitely my scent was a problem. So I went back to the basics, I descended myself, took care of business, and next two days I hunted this buck. <clears throat> well, I finally took a drag rag with some doe estrus and I drug it up and down the road and then I drug it up the ridge and about halfway up the ridge I left a long white piece of sock. So it looked like a deer's tail kind of flagging in the wind and I sprayed estrus all the way up the hill. About every 20 minutes I'd do a doe call, doe bleed or so. and. Uh, Sure enough, I'm looking around, as I looked down, all I could see was these horns just doing this through the trees. I could not see the deer. They blend so well up here. And all I could see was this, and this, and this. Well, that was enough to get me excited, let me tell you. So I, I drew my rifle up, and still, even with your scope shooting down to that hill, you had to thread, the, thread through the trees, and, and it was so hard to see. Finally, this white area right here, this nose, I seen it come behind a tree, and his neck, the tree was here, and I could see about right here, I could see the, uh, the neck, and that's all the shot I could get. I could not see the, uh, the body whatsoever, so I uh, took a shot on him, and, and of course he went down first, first try, and as I approached the buck, I, I couldn't believe this was a buck of a lifetime for me. Never in my life have I seen anything like this in the wild. And I can honestly tell you, folks, I will be here year after year after year hunting these trophies. How much did this thing weigh? Uh, I believe it was 210 pounds, 18-inch uh, spread, 11 points. And uh, so far this season, uh, it was probably the largest killed by an American, they say, at the general store. Um, I couldn't be any prouder of what I've done here. Um, I look forward to, to passing the word on and... and uh, you could not ask for a finer place to come, whitetail hunt, or, or a finer group of people to be with. Um, I, I believe it's been very, very successful for me. But, Is this uh, your first hunt here in New Brunswick? No, actually, I, I came up in June black bear hunting and was extremely successful black bear hunting. I got a real nice 200-pound bear, um, and that was uh, that was exciting. That also was a hunt of a lifetime. This this is what continues me coming up to New Brunswick. With Black Bear Outfitters, um, they are their, their first class, their lodging first class, their food, but pretty much the camaraderie you receive when you're here, you feel like you're family, you feel uh, like they truly care, and you're not going to get that with a lot of outfitters. Um, I highly recommend anybody coming up here, because they get much bigger than this, they say. Okay, where where do you say you shot him? Make your point. I'll do your rifle, I believe. Yeah, I actually shot you, him. Show him where he got hit. I shot him right here in the base yeah, of the neck. Right. And yeah. that was the only shot I had that I could actually make out through the trees yeah. was uh, to hit him right there in the neck. And uh, like I said, they don't go far when that happens. Okay, but, uh, so you're going to now take it to the taxidermist, I guess? Yes, sir. We're going to take him to the taxidermist, get him mounted, and that's, this will be the longest year I'll ever wait. Thank you family. very much, James. That was very pleasant. Oh, yes. Thanks for your kind word. Not a problem. I did, it, did anybody pay you to say all the nice thing about this lodge this oh, morning? Only Gil Peltier. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. You know, I, I speak from my heart, and uh, I, I truly mean what I say. And as far as anybody that would ever want to call me for a testimonial, uh, call Gil Peltier Black Bear Lodge. And uh, he'll be more than happy to give you my number. My name is Jim Peachy from North Carolina. And uh, truly, I mean, this is, this is first class.